Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another Dying Light video and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Content Drop 6. Now, as you guys know, the Content Drop 6 is Snake in the Grass and it came with a new bounty called Subterfuge Bounty, if I pronounced it right. In that bounty, you're supposed to go and complete a quarantine zone where there will be volatiles guarding the disaster link packages and all you gotta do is be sneaky enough and don't let the volatiles see you and actually collect those disaster lift packages with, without getting detected. Seems impossible, right? But it's not. It's actually easy. Uh, it takes time. At the beginning, when you try to do it, you might fail a little bit of time, but here is what I say. So in order to complete this bounty easily, first of all, I'll tell you to go and play that quarantine zone like three, four times. And I'm telling you that because if you keep practicing, you will know the exact location of all the disaster lift packages, meaning all you have to do is head towards the location and look for a volatile. That will be the only job you will be doing. You don't have to worry about where is the disaster lift packages because you will know. So practice without using the bounty. Just don't equip the bounty yet and go practice. Once you're good, you know all the locations for the disaster lift packages. Go pick the bounty from the bounty board. And once you have the bounty, go to the underground parking in slums which is quarantine zone go there as soon as you enter you can use your night in a booster because it gives you speed so good you get that and remember i'll give you one tip here do not engage with any zombie there will be some point where you have to or force you to but try to like ignore the zombies in most cases right just do not fight because most of the times when you try to fight they grab you or they make noise resulting in the volatiles actually looking for you which can end badly. So do not engage. Now, once you're not engaging, you're gonna make sure you remember the locations. So for me, I remember one location easily. So as soon as you're in the quarantine zone, you're gonna go down and there will be two locations left and right. But remember, the disaster loop package is gonna be at the left and at the right, both sides. So an extreme left, there is a disaster loop package inside a one. An extreme right, there is another disaster loop package inside a one. So it's like that, it's easy. There will be two disaster lift packages inside a car and both of them actually have alarms. So it means both are gonna make noise. It's an alarm. So as soon as you try to open that car from the back, what will it do? It will start making noise, meaning it will try to attract the zombies, which will, which can end bad. I wouldn't say it will, it can end bad because it attracts the volatiles as well. So as soon as you see that, all you gotta do is open and get the disaster lift packages as quick as possible. And as soon as you get it, just move around that location. Remember, the best way you can actually hide from the zombies is to be behind the car. You can sit, crouch, be behind the cars. The zombies will ignore you. So if the zombies see you, because the biters and the walkers are the most pain in the ass, because they will try to grab you as soon as they see you. So for them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep moving. You will not stay at one location. You staying at one location results in the zombie coming after you. And sometimes, you know, it's better to just stay at the location because there will be some barrier, a barrier where the zombies are not allowed to go. So that's a good thing again. But one of the worst thing I faced when I was doing this bounty, I mean, I've already completed the bounty. One of the most difficult thing that I had there, like the difficult part for me, was the volatiles actually not moving from his location. So there was a point where I was, I know where the disaster package is, the last disaster package was inside the place next to the elevator. So I know there is a place, there is a disaster package inside, but I can't go because the volatile doesn't want to move from his location. He just simply goes around and around, like he just stays at that location forever. And there's not just one volatile, there's like three or four volatiles standing in that one place, leaving me with no hope. So what I thought is if you use firecrackers to distract the zombies, you know, you can distract zombies, you know, obviously how firecracks work, but it doesn't work like that on volatiles as well. Volatiles do attra get attracted by the firecrackers, but not for a long time. You throw a firecracker away, they will go after that and they will come back within like five, six seconds. That's how they work. So you will have really less seconds to actually think about what you're supposed to do. What I best suggest to you is to throw a firecracker and the volatile is going to go for that. You throw another firecracker somewhere away, like away from the location and the volatile will go for that and you just go for the disaster lift package, leaving the volatile wherever he is. Remember the volatile will return to that place and you will be in a big danger. So firecrackers helps again. Remember firecrackers are really helpful, a lot of people ignore it. It could be done without the firecrackers because 
it depends. You know, the volatiles have different spawn locations. They sometimes don't stand next to the disaster leaf packages. They go around somewhere. So you will have a lot of chance like that. But in most cases I've seen, you will be stuck with the volatile actually staying at one location only. So firecrackers is going to help you. Rest, weapon is not needed. As I said, you can get a weapon to kill some zombies who will actually stand next to the disaster leaf packages, leaving you with no other hope other than just fighting with them. You know, you can't really just go and open the disaster leaf package because that's not going to be good. He's going to try to hit you. So all you got to do is kill them first and get the disaster leaf packages. It's really easy. It's not that difficult. As I mentioned before, all you got to do is play this quarantine zone again and again, and then you will remember all the locations. And once you do, all you got to do is just be sneaky enough. No camouflage is needed, club potion don't work, so be sneaky, it's really that simple. I did it in my second try, the first try, I had to think where am I supposed to go, as I didn't remember all the locations for the disaster leave packages. Did end up sometimes picking the lock, which was not needed, because the pack was actually in an airdrop, not in that chest. So, yep, yeah, it's good if you practice, don't mess like I did, and you will be good, you will get the bounty. Uh, once you complete the bounty, it will say the bounty is completed. Once the bounty is completed, you just get the blueprint just like that. You don't have to do anything. You have the blueprint with you. You can go create a subsonic ammo, but you will need some requisition packs, which is again a rare item to collect. So, as I mentioned before in one of my video, developers have made this blueprint, which gives you a rare item. But in order to create this rare item, you will need another rare item. Makes sense. Good thing. Alright, so this is how you do the subterfuge bounty. Not that difficult. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.